guys, so it's me, Tiana, and today I'm back doing the second installment in my little mini ARC series, and this is going to be the uses for my ARC notebooks. Now, I use my ARC notebooks for a lot of different things. I have three that I'm going to show you. One is actually my mom's because she uses an ARC notebook like her agenda. The second is how I'm using them to replace binders for school life or for students. And then the third is how I manage my clubs, sports, and extracurricular activities using an ARC notebook. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. The first one I'm going to show you is my mom's, and this is how she uses hers as a planner. Now, she really liked using this as a planner. She loved the fact that you could move things around and that it was completely customizable. However, she did kind of outgrow it, and I'll show you how busy she is and how much she had written on one page, and I really should have gotten her a full-size one. So, this one just wasn't big enough for her anymore. So she did outgrow this one, which is why I'm able to show it to you. But she just has this cover on it, and I'm going to have to do my best to cover up any kind of personal information. Now, when you open it up, she just has this clear um, pocket, and then um, this is covering up personal stuff but uh, she's got that page and then this was basically just a list of things that I wanted to do in Disney and I would highly recommend all of those things because they are all amazing so I just wrote out my list and then she had her list and she just stuck it below on a sticky note but she took it out and then I just got her these calendar pages off of the internet and they basically just have like times in the corner here and then up at the top they have a place where you can write the date or whatever you want um, I just basically searched like um, I think like Filofax day by day planner pages or something like that you can get tons of results you just have to pick whichever one works best for you now the ones that I got her actually came with two sections the first one was this kind of like notes section so you can see how it has like notes and then it had tasks which she scratched out and she kind of changed some of the writing around for her own use and then here on the other side is just the one with the times again so that is all actually here's a blank one so that's what they come looking like and then she's a very busy lady so she writes a lot on these and they kind of get pretty messy looking but hey as long as it works for her I mean I don't care what they really look like as long as it helps keep her brain organized and then I just use these little task pads as kind of like divider sections to divide her planner up and then again I just went online and searched like May 2014 calendar on two pages and then found this and it matched her other ones perfectly and they're really pretty um, and then I just took sticky notes and used sticky notes and wrote on like whatever events it was my cat's totally gonna jump up right now so I'm just gonna let her come and say hello but anyways complete side tangent from whatever it was that I was just saying but anyways I just took sticky notes and wrote whatever events I had on sticky notes so that she could keep mine separate from hers and yeah they just kind of look like this so anyways that is her arc notebook oh and then at the back she just has lined paper and this is the arc paper and it's actually a really nice paper but I just started to punch my own paper for my larger books instead of buying the arc paper because it was just cheaper in the long run than paying like three dollars for a hundred sheets or fifty sheets or whatever it is. Next I'm going to show you guys my miniature arc or junior arc or whatever they're called and this is actually how I keep clubs and sports and things organized. So I just have this as my cover, and then when you open it up, I just have this little thing with sticky notes, which I actually stole from my mom's. Um, when she switched out of that planner, I took some of the stuff from hers, so 
yeah, I think that these are just really cute and they're super fun, bright colors. And then I have the same zip pocket, came in a package of two, so I took the other one. And then here I have five dividers. And basically what this is going to be is this is going to be for scheduling. So for instance, I'm on my school's curling team and we get a curling schedule at the beginning of every year so that we know who we're playing, what times our games are, what time we have to be outside waiting for the taxi, um, like practice times, all of that stuff, meeting times, if we have lunchtime meetings. So I would put that under one of these tabs so that, for instance, usually we have our games on Wednesdays, so I would copy our game schedule and I would put it behind my Wednesday tab. And then on Tuesdays is practices, so I would put that behind our Tuesday tab. And then if we always have meetings at lunch on Mondays, I would put that behind my Mondays tab. Now I also do things in my school like I'm a peer tutor for one of the like grade 7 kids. I basically just help them with like their school or whatever they're having trouble with. And then I'm also a peer pal, so I help like um, students who are having trouble like integrating into the school because I go to a very big school. We have 1,800 kids in my school, which is ridiculous from grade 7 up through 12. Um, we hit high school in grade 7. but. Yeah, so I would put my schedule for that in these tabs. Any other clubs or extracurriculars, I would just print out a schedule and put it behind whatever day corresponds to these tabs. And there's five tabs, which is perfect because I'm only at school five days in the week. So that's what's there. Now behind that, sorry, I have a sticky note that I need to get rid of. I just have these pockets, and I don't know how much of these you're actually going to be able to see. But I have six of these pockets, which is three packages when you buy them at the store. And basically behind these, I'm going to put any notes that I take at any of my club meetings, or mostly just club meetings, because I have basically a club every single day at lunch. I love to be involved in the school, and so I like to kind of take notes so that I know what's going on, and like, it keeps me kind of involved in the meeting so that I'm not like stressing out about my test next period or whatever. So I've just taken these little tabs, you can see that up at the top there, and I've used the different colors so that I know like pink is Monday, orange is Tuesday, yellow is Wednesday, green is Thursday, blue is Friday, and then anything behind purple is like other like blank paper or whatever. So I just have these pockets, so in here I would keep whatever notes I have for Monday's club. Behind this one I would keep notes for Tuesday's club, Wednesday's club, Thursday's club, and Friday's club. And now behind the purple one right now I just have, I like to take whatever pages it is, and for instance I'm going to join Go Green next year, and so I like to kind of doodle on the top of the pages just because it gives it some personality. I don't do that in my meetings obviously, I just do that when I'm bored. Um, and then I have another little tabby section, and here I just have all of my fundraising ideas for school. Um, I just did some brainstorming over the summer, so anyways, that's basically what all of these pages are. Um, and then I have, like, ideas of, like, fundraising programs that we can do. Um, and then I just have another one of these little tabs, and I have blank paper. So that's basically how I use this one. So now these are the only two junior ones that I'm using. However, you could really use this method for any um, sports or anything that you do, whether it be associated with school or not. I could put dance stuff in here if I wanted to. Um, I probably won't because we don't really get very many things that we have to keep for dance. Um, I basically just write my schedule for dance in my agenda and then that's where I keep it. But So that is this notebook and this one um, and then my next way of using my arc which is my last method is actually for school and I'm going to do a whole organization video on my school ones but basically I've made these and if you haven't seen that video you can go to my channel and check it out and I basically just um, use these instead of binders for school so I have like my dividers and my lined paper in here. Nothing too fancy or exciting. I had more to explain with my other ones. So hopefully this video wasn't too too long for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video 
and check back because I will be uploading my organization for like my big ones for school next so definitely check back for that video anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a comment down below with any videos that you would like to see whether they be back to school or just any other organizational videos in general I'm basically done cleaning my room and like reorganizing it so I'm hoping to do a room tour once school gets back in full swing but I do still have some more back to school videos that I will be putting up even though I start school at the end of this week which is crazy um, I start September 2nd, which is the day after Labor Day, and I have a full day, and I'm very jealous of anybody who doesn't. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed looking at my arcs, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.